What is up, Chiefs Kingdom? I'm Haley Lewis, and this is Chiefs News Daily. It's a quick show that wraps up everything you need to know about the Kansas City Chiefs in just 10 minutes. Remember, it drops Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Central Time, on the KCSN YouTube channel. Make sure you head over there, like, and subscribe, and follow along. Also, join our LLC, the Loyal Listeners Club. It's free. It keeps you in the loop. And it allows you to chat and interact with myself, other listeners. The link to join is under this video in the description. All right, happy Monday, happy Eclipse Monday. Let's get things rolling. This episode brought to you by Unified Healing. Well, the Chiefs have brought back another one of their key pieces from the defensive line, re-signing defensive end Mike Dana to a reported three-year deal worth up to $24 million, with $13 million in guarantees. This information coming via NFL Network's Mike Garofolo. Dana was a fifth-round pick for the Chiefs out of the University of Michigan in 2020, and he's coming off a career high of 6.5 sacks in 2023, having started in all four of the Chiefs' playoff games as well. He played in 59 career games with 23 starts, racking up 128 tackles, 17 sacks, and four forced fumbles. That's pretty darn good. Now, this re-signing isn't a huge surprise. In fact, it's been a rumor that's been looming around ever since the Chiefs parted ways and traded Legereus Sneed to the Tennessee Titans last month. That was saving $19.8 million against the cap while it freed up some money, and now Dana, who has shown the ability to play all over the Chiefs' defensive line, is secured in Kansas City for at least the next three years. Now, it's a perfect signing for the Chiefs, and not just because he's a two-time Super Bowl champ coming off a great year. The Chiefs still need a lot of depth at the defensive line. And Charles Aminahue is working his way back from a late-season ACL tear, and the Chiefs might not be ready to plant Felix and Udike Uzama into the starting rotation just yet. FAU, the Chiefs' first-round pick last year, played in 14 regular season games, one playoff game, earning 15 tackles and a half sack. They needed another guy to start opposite of George Karloftis and also mix in with Malik Herring. The fact that Dana can plug in there if needed and then also have the ability to slide inside on passing downs makes it a perfect complement to the defensive line room, which has already seen the Chiefs re-sign Chris Jones, Mike Pinnell, Deshaun Wharton, and Derek Nadi this offseason. Now, we not only think this is a great re-sign, but the Chiefs obviously do as well. Chiefs defensive line coach Joe Colon had this to say about Dana while at the NFL scouting combine last season. When you look at Mike, for example, I played a little bit. He got thrown in the f- turk. Wharton got hurt. Um, yeah. Mike had to go inside and rush on a consistent basis. He did. And then just the, the way we rotated, I mean, he was really like the starter. I mean, I, I think if I, I made this statement, Mike's a Swiss Army. If you had a Mike Dana, every position on the team had a Mike Dana, would be in great shape every year. Well, we're pretty sure Colin was excited about the news on Dana coming back. He wasn't the only one. The world of social media, Chiefs Kingdom that is, decided to light up the world of Twitter after bringing back the versatile defensive end. Brad Spielberger also shared underrated return, especially with a Minhew set to miss some time. We want to know how you feel about the re-signing as well. Head over to Twitter, comment under this tweet. What grade do you give the Chiefs after bringing back Dana? Whether you're a world-class athlete or a podcaster like me, we all understand the importance of mental and physical well-being and proper recovery. That's why I'm excited that Unified Healing is sponsoring this episode of Chiefs News Daily. Unified Healing is a new and innovative global network of wellness centers powered by Energy Enhancement System, or EE system. Whether you're here in Kansas City or elsewhere, there are hundreds of locations across the globe. Access to a center is easy and affordable. Interested in experiencing EE system technology for yourself? Go to unifiedhealing.com slash KCSN to learn more and find a center near you. That's U-N-I-F-Y-D healing.com slash KCSN. No material or testimonials on the Unified Healing website are intended to be viewed as medical advice or substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Always seek the advice of your physician or other qualified healthcare providers with any questions you might have regarding a medical condition or treatment and before undertaking a new healthcare regimen, including EE system. To the social media as we go, if you didn't know, there was a solar eclipse today. Now you know. QB1 got to take it all in alongside his family, sharing on Twitter a picture of his daughter and his wife. Here you can see Sterling sporting the eclipse glasses, looking up at the sun. Mahomes captioning it, mood, followed by the sunglasses smiley face. He then quote tweeted his own tweet saying, that was crazy, not gonna lie. Make sure you share with us your eclipse pictures over on Twitter, tagging KCSN. Where were you watching? How was your view? Let us know in the comments. Staying on X, this time we're landing on Chris Jones's Twitter account. The man apparently a big women's hoops fan. 
We love seeing cross cover of our sports. The Chiefs shared their support of lifelong fan and Iowa star guard Caitlin Clark leading up to the national championship game yesterday against South Carolina. Then Chris Jones chimed in as well, praising Clark while tweeting during the Final Four and the Natty title game, saying, CC is cold-blooded, the greatest shooter ever. This isn't the first time those these two have shown each other some love. Clark visited the Chiefs this past football season. It can be seen here taking a picture pre-game on the sideline with Jones. Stone Cold Jones even went as far to sport the Iowa Hawkeyes jersey in the locker room. Might need to give this man a, a larger size, but we love seeing the guys supporting women's sports, especially a fellow Chiefs fan. Well, Travis Kelsey is a busy man, as we all know, not only in the headlines for his football career, but now being seen beside one of the most famous pop stars in the world. Kelsey has been spotted in LA often, and apparently it's not just to see his girlfriend Taylor Swift. According to Rebecca Lewis from Hello Magazine, Kelsey is actually hosting an updated version of the television show, Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? This time around, instead of going up against the brains of a 10-year-old, people are going to be on the show to see if they are tested to be smarter than a celeb. Production has reportedly already begun in Los Angeles on the series called Are You Smarter Than a Celebrity? Get your host on, man. Excited to see the final production. And an AFC West rival might be interested in a former Chiefs player. According to ESPN's Jeremy Fowler, the Chargers have expressed interest in free agent receiver Marquez Valdez-Scantley. This comes after a report earlier in the week linking them to preliminary interests in Bengals wide receiver Tyler Boyd. Well, according to Alex Endorf's with Chargers Wire, of the remaining receivers in free agency, you're not relying on any of them to be an offense's number one wide receiver. However, from a speed component and stretching the field standpoint, MVS could fill a greatly needed role for the Chargers pre or post draft. We shall see then. Guess the Chiefs could be seeing MVS back at Arrowhead sooner than expected. All right, let's now check in with our loyal listeners over on the LLC. Again, if you haven't joined our LLC yet, sign up. It is free. Joining the Loyal Listeners Club keeps you in the loop. It's a fun way to chat and interact with our crew over at KCSN. Plus, you can win prizes like a Trent McDuffie signed jersey. Also, make sure to check out the other prizes and contests you can join by clicking the link in the description below. Right now, we got a ticket to our NFL Draft Wash Party. That is up for grabs, a KCSN hoodie. Also, raffling off a Zoom call with the KCSN host to chat all things Chiefs football. You can also get discounts on tickets for less as well as Mission Taco. A big shout out to listeners like DadCat16, Lee87, Omaha Chief, Chief Chick58, Chris K153, and Brian Kin for always jumping in the chat. We love to have you guys here. All right, let's dive into the question. First up, this one coming from Tony Pantaloni82. <laughs> I love the screen name. What is the most likely scenario for left tackle this upcoming season? Well, hey, we appreciate you writing in. Let's check in with Kent Swanson, one of our KCSN hosts, to see what he has to say about this question. I think the most likely scenario for the Chiefs at left tackle is going to wind up being Donovan Smith. So we haven't seen him sign anywhere yet, while a lot of other veteran left tackles have signed elsewhere. I think what's going to happen is the Chiefs are going to kind of weigh out their options. They're going to see what they can get in the NFL draft. And if somebody falls to them, at pick 32 that they really like at the left tackle spot or maybe if they you know there's a blue chip player that they think at left tackle that kind of falls a little bit i could see them trying to pull the trigger to go get him but i think what's going to happen is they're going to wind up calling donovan smith shortly after the draft like they did last year and you know you've got wanya morris as a developmental left tackle that they maybe feel decent about now you've got somebody in the wings to replace him maybe in 2025, just buying another year at the left tackle spot. All right, thank you, Kit. Always appreciate you jumping in. Remember, submit your questions over on the LLC by Wednesday for a chance to get mentioned in our show on Friday. We love you guys staying involved. All right, folks, easy does it. That does it for another episode of Chiefs News Daily. Remember, join us in the LLC, get those questions in, and of course, make sure to like and subscribe right here on the KCSN YouTube channel. We will see you tomorrow, 7 p.m. Central Time. Have a great rest of your Monday. Okay.